This is the fourth part of the video series on how to write empirical research. This video focuses on how the quantitative methodology, specifically a survey method, is written. The gap analysis will lead a researcher to establish a research niche. This niche states what has not been done and has not been considered yet by the cited published researches. For example, the aforementioned studies discuss the following factors in organizational communication. These factors are communication competency, assertiveness competency, and technological awareness. However, there is a scarcity of study regarding the consequential effect of the aforementioned factors to work engagement. The gap is then elaborated and supported. In the given example for the gap, since the nature of work engagement is interconnected to organizational communication, it is interesting to determine the predicting effects of each factor to work engagement. Thus, based on the intertextuality of aforementioned study, this paper aims to validate the significance of the three factors of OCM, which are the communication competency, assertiveness competency, and technological competency to work engagement. Once you have established the gap, you are now ready to proceed in explaining how will you occupy or fill the research gap, which is move three, occupy the niche. First step is to specify the variables needed in your research questions. For example, for the independent variables, communication competency, assertiveness competency, and technological awareness. And work engagement for the dependent variable. Remember, all these variables are based on the research gap. In the first question, you are looking for the strength of relationship of each IV to work engagement. Second question will tell you which among the independent variables is the best predictor of work engagement. And last is to determine the mediating effect of assertiveness competency and technological awareness between communication competency and work engagement. The second step is move, in move 3 is to explain the methodology to be used in answering the research question. This is done by elaborating the three parts of quantitative methodology. The first part of the methodology is the explanation of the participants of the study. For example, the participants of this study are 160 professionals, 71.88% females and 28.12 males from different field of occupation. You can then explain the basis of the number of respondents. For example, the 160 respondents is based on the computation of the Bachnik and Fidel 2001, where n is greater than the number of predictors times 8 plus 50, or n is greater than the number of predictors plus 104. The second part is the explanation of the procedure of the research methodology. For example, they were invited to answer a survey questionnaire and were informed that the participation was voluntary and anonymous. The next step is to prove that the survey that is used in the study is reliable. For example, the survey questionnaire was comprised of two major parts. First, the short version of Utrecht Work Engagement Scale was used for engagement. Second, the shortened version of the developed and validated organizational communication efficiency scale was used for the communication competency, assertiveness competency, and technological awareness. Then elaborate how did you administer the survey questionnaire to your respondents. For example, the survey questionnaire was administered through Google Docs. An invitation to answer the survey was through the provision of survey link on Facebook Messenger. Moreover, the participants were also informed that they could withdraw from answering the survey whenever they want and that no monetary compensation given to them. By clicking the Done button on the last part of the online survey signify their consent of participation and usage of their given data. The last part of the methodology is the explanation of the measurement tools to be used in answering the research question. First is the reliability analysis, which refers to the fact that a scale should consistently reflect the construct it is measuring. You have to present that all items for each variable in the research questions have passed the reliability analysis. You may also explain the parametric statistic with interval scale of measurement to present the descriptive statistics. 
make sure to explain the statistical analysis you use in answering each research question. For example, to answer research question 1 before proceeding to multiple regression, correlation analysis is important to consider to determine the strength of relationship among independent variables and between predictors and outcome. Next, to answer research question 2 in determining if the percentage of the total variance of work engagement that is explained by the communication competency, assertiveness competency, and technological competency is significant, multiple regression is utilized. A multiple regression analysis was used with work engagement as the criterion and the three factors as the predictors. Last, to answer research question three in determining the mediation relationship of assertiveness, competency, partial mediation analysis was utilized through SPSS. Also, a multiple mediation analysis was utilized using ordinary least square path analysis to test if assertiveness competency and technological awareness mediate the relationship between communication competency and work engagement. Remember, there are three parts that have to be presented in writing a quantitative methodology. These are the participants, procedure, and the measurement tool in answering each research question. Check the next video on how to write the results section of an empirical research. To support this channel, hit like, share, and subscribe. Kambat dene!